Okay, so I've been playing around with RetroPie and Gun Games and the Dolphin Bar, and uh, I've been getting some really good results on it, and I'm surprised at how well some of these games run. I've done a custom build on a 16 gig micro SD card, and uh, just so I can back it up easily, and it's just the favorite games and the things that run well in RetroPie. So let's pop the SD card in and boot it up. Okay, so I went for this theme, uh, which is called Magazine Madness, uh, just because I think it works really nicely for this. Uh, so you can see I've got an all game section, and if I flick through, you can see all the artwork is in there. Anything that wasn't there, I added in manually, but the rest of it was done by the scraper. So if I go back from that, uh, so we've got Arcade, and we've got five games in there. And if we go back from that, we've got Dreamcast. Dreamcast works particularly well on this, and this is probably the most impressive system on it. Uh, we also have NES, there's a couple of fun games on there. Obviously it's an older system, but it's, uh, it's really nice to see. We've got PC games, this is Bloodbath, which is a DOS game. And uh, also PlayStation 1, which I was really surprised to get going. And with the crosshairs on the screen, uh, Time Crisis and Time Crisis Project are brilliant. Right, so let's go back into Dreamcast. And everything's configured for the gun as well and for the dolphin bar. So if I do House of the Dead, I can actually launch it on the gun. So if I start up my gun and then press the home button, that will select House of the Dead. And keep the gun nice and still because if you shake the gun around when you're starting a game, it actually thinks you're trying to reconfigure RetroPie. And I use the minus and plus buttons uh, to put coins in and to hit start. So although this says Dreamcast, I think it's the arcade version, uh, hence it comes up with all the, um, the things about two credits and start and so on. In the Dreamcast folder, there are some arcade and some Dreamcast things in there. And I've got the trigger configured correctly and the A button is reload. And it does work really well. It's really accurate. It's nice and responsive as well. And I think the audio, the, the video, everything on this is just running perfect on the Pi. Oh. And we've got to save a few people here. This is a tricky bit. <laughs> I definitely didn't save him. Oh, just. Anyway, so you can see, I think that works brilliantly. Oh, 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 <laughs> not going so well. Right, so let's quit out that. So I'm gonna use the Xbox controller. So home, start and select before I get caught by zombies. And uh, let's try a different system. So let's try arcade lethal enforcers. So Lethal Enforcer's a little bit different, but uh, still really fun to play. Proper arcade game. And all of it can be accessed with the minus and plus for start and select again. And the only thing is that's a little bit dodgy is the reload thing is a bit touch and go because you're supposed to do off the screen. I worked fine that time. So I, I usually just go down to the bottom corner of the screen. But as you can see, it works really nicely. So let's try something else. So Bloodbath at Red Falls. So this is a DOS game. And so you can see here, I can select bloodbath.exe. And you can see that I've got my pointer control. Now the buttons are the wrong way around on this. A is the, re is the um, fire button and trigger is the reload. I haven't been able to remap it. It is quite tricky to remap some buttons in RetroArch. But you can see, the, I like the graphics on it. I like the style of it. But it is, it is actually quite tricky. Whether it would be easier with a, an actual light gun, uh, or I'm guessing it was, it was mouse controlled before. Anyway, let's skip on to something else. So NES, I uh, particularly like Baby Boomer. Uh, it's a really fun little game, and it would be okay for kids to play. Get away from some of the blood and the violence. So in this case, you're trying to protect the baby. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to hit the milk. So you can see there's a rat there that comes along, a little snake, dynamite, spider, and it works. It's lovely and responsive. Uh, I think, oh, there's a little, you can see I've dropped down the bridge there. 
And I don't think there's any reloading on this, which I quite like. Uh, some more milk, another snake. And as you can see, it works and looks all right, really, for a NES game. Oh, oh, nearly shot the baby then. Can I get to the end? Another platform, oh. Oh, caught by the rat, never mind. So home select and start again to quit out. And the other system is uh, PlayStation, so let's try a bit of Time Crisis. And I was really surprised to get this working. You can see there's like a setup bit, but it doesn't really apply to this um, because it's using a crosshair, uh, but obviously it was originally uh, for a CRT tube TV. And we've got arcade mode, story game. The gun sound on this is really good. And also just the reaction of the people you shoot, uh, it just makes it a much more sort of fun gun game. And I like the way you're you're either hiding or you're shooting. So you can see you can pop up and shoot. It just plays so well as a game. Oh. I could definitely keep playing this. Okay, so let's quit out of that and go through a bit of the menus. I'll show some more games in a minute, but uh, let's go into the RetroPie menu and uh, pick themes, and I'll show you a few of the different themes that I chose. So you've also got here view or update theme gallery. Uh, I've already updated the theme gallery, so there's loads of themes in here. And you can just flick through and see what you want, really. So if you just keep pressing the B button, it will go through and uh, you can pick one that you want. And when you find the one that you want, that's the one you want to download. So say for instance, Pixel, you can see bottom left-hand corner, it says pixel.png. Uh, and if you go back, so if we press the Y button, and then you're just looking for that theme. So you would go down to a theme. Uh, so say for instance, it was Pixel. I'm not sure if I put Pixel on here yet. Uh, oh, there you go, Metapixel is installed. But say I pick just any old, so let's go for Picade. And you can see it starts to download. So Picade, well that didn't take very long, so I guess this isn't going to make too much changes. So if I press the start button, go to UI, go to theme, and then the new one, Picade, will be in here. So just press B, press B again, and then go back. And so this is Picade. So a very straightforward, simple theme. Uh, and if you want to change it back, obviously just do the reverse UI settings and change that theme. But I do like that Magazine Madness. I think that's a really nice theme. And I'll show a bit of the configuration later on, but let's just show you a few more games. So Confidential Mission I showed in my previous light gun video. So let's do a bit of extreme hunting. And so this is an arcade game, but it launches with the Flycast emulator. And you can see I've got my pointer on the screen. Let's go with the minus and plus buttons to put coins in and to start. And let's go for single play. I don't shoot any of them really, but I'm going to go with Moose. I'm going to go with Bow. I haven't tried Bow yet. Shoot Bull, don't shoot Cow. Okay, so you get the idea of this. I'm not going to shoot one of these. Uh, I'm just going to shoot the tree. <laughs> get more running around. And reload works fine. Uh, so it's all working fine. So let's cut out of this. So Ranger Mission is another cool one. Very decent graphics on this. Okay, let's go for this one. And the pointer moves around really nicely, or the crosshairs move around really nicely. The audio's a bit scratchy. But lovely and responsive. Yeah, definitely works really well. I like the way it moves around and everything. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, grenade. <laughs> it's not going so well. And it's got numbers. I suppose you're supposed to shoot them in that order, are you? Oh, 
Oh, grenade. So let's quit out and do something else. And Virtua Cop 2. So might be getting a bit of slowdown on this. So the cursor is a bit jerky on this. Uh, maybe I should change some of the settings. Yeah, it definitely is a bit slow actually. Oh, and I'm, and I'm killing civilians as well, which is not good, is it? Yeah, that's a bit slow actually. And the version I had for PC in the last light gun game was definitely better of Virtua Cop 2, so I'll probably delete that from this. So let's try a bit of NES. So we did Baby Boomer before, so let's try a bit of Duck Hunt. And the plus and minus buttons work on this, but the I couldn't get the trigger to configure, so I've got the A button as the trigger, but it works fine. And actually the pointer moves around really nice on this. Uh, it's very responsive, I guess, because the system is lower spec. So you, you're really accurate, and this game's super easy on this level. So let's try a bit of Hogan's Alley. And it comes up with that menu uh, if you're moving the gun, but I suppose I could put it in kiosk mode and it wouldn't go into that menu because it wouldn't let you have any of the settings. So let's start this. And only shoot the bad guys. I don't know if I got that in time or not. I think I did. And let's do a bit of point blank on the PlayStation. And my screen capture cuts out on this because it changes to a lower resolution, but it does work really well. And it still looks like PlayStation does. And this has got calibration. I had a question just now um, about, on my previous light gun video, about whether you could use the gun without the, uh, without the crosshairs. And I guess you probably could. Although if I move around, you can see, I think it gets faster as it gets to the edge of the screen. So you definitely need to be in the right screen ratio. This would be a four by three game and I'm playing it in 16 by nine. Works fine with the crosshair, but uh, I guess you need to switch it to four by three if you're gonna rely on uh, looking down the sights of the gun to be able to shoot. So let's just click on that anyway, because it's not gonna make any difference to this one because I'm using the crosshairs. So arcade. And this is loads and loads of mini games, but it's really, really good. Let's just go for beginner stage. And let's try this one. But there are some games where you don't have to shoot people. Oh, this is using the... Oh, oh, it's on PlayStation, that's why it's using the right trigger. The correct trigger. I nearly shot that lady then. And I missed just because of my bad aim. The moral of the story is don't wear black. Yeah, this is good actually. And lovely and smooth again, the crosshairs are moving really nicely. And I just tried Time Crisis Project Titan, which I thought I'd set up, but I haven't. So I'll go into that and set it up. So if I press the button to launch it, you can see it's coming up on Beetle, which is what I want it on because the other ones are on there. And as soon as the game launches, if I press the Xbox Home button and Y, it comes up with the RetroArch menu. And uh, these menus, you really have to play around with these. Um, but if we go into controls just to see what it's on. So port one controls. Yeah, it doesn't want to be on device type. It wants to be on gun con, I think. Uh, let's go back and then port two controls, PlayStation control. I think that's the right way around. I might need to reverse those. Uh, but if I go back into the game, let's see if I've got a pointer. Yes, okay, so we might be all right already. And this same sort of aiming you get with point blank. What's interesting is my screen capture captures this at four by three, but it's shown on my monitor at 16 by nine. So the sound is fine. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna work fine. We can skip past all the cutscenes. Yes, yeah, it's working fine. Oh, how did I miss him? <laughs> and you can shoot the glass, look. Oh, that was close. Yeah, very nice. This works great. I love this game. So let's go back into those settings and just show you a few other bits. Um, I found that uh, with RetroArch, you go into the menu and you enable certain things and they don't appear until you've restarted them. So if you look at someone else's tutorial video and you don't see a setting, just restart RetroArch. It's always worth saving the game remap file. So let's save that. And let's go back and I think in options, yeah, gun input mode, look, light gun gun cursor cross. You can change the color of that cursor as well. 
Uh, it just works incredibly well on PlayStation, and I didn't think it was going to, but uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. So let's have a look at some of the settings on something else. So let's try Dreamcast and House of the Dead. Well, I guess this must be the arcade version. It doesn't start with the Dreamcast menu. And as I mentioned before, the gun games have come off Keo Deacon's uh, Pistol Arrow from Arcade Punks. So that's where I've got most of the gun games. I did get some others separately um, to try out and also some of the thumbnails and things like that. So let's go into that menu again and just have a look around. So options. Off we go. And you can change some of the sensitivity things on here as well in some cases um, to make it seem more accurate. Ah, here we go. Show light gun settings, and again, you can change the crosshair setting on there as well. Uh, and the important bit is to go into controls. So port one controls is light gun, and port two controls is controller. And sometimes you have to go into this bit and configure. So if you go down to the bottom of the controller, not this one, under port one controls. No, it must be on one of the other emulators, but you go down and you get some light gun settings down here and you can reverse some of the buttons and play around with it to get exactly what you want. Anyway, uh, I'm really pleased with the performance of the light guns. This Dolphin Bar, for the money, is just a really good way to get light gun games working, uh, especially as you can pick up Wii controllers second hand very, very cheaply. I already had a load of uh, Wii controllers anyway. But uh, anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.